Nobody loved me but my mother. Yes, I got the moves. And that's a good thing. Final community. It's LJ, and I'm back with the blues video. I got the blues. Because I found the Paul Butterfield Blues Band debut album on vinyl. Hope everyone's doing well, and you got the blues. I do. The Chicago Blues. What? an amazing album in all seriousness i just stumbled on this at goodwill you know it looked interesting enough i had to pick it up as soon as i put it on i was just floored what an amazing amazing powerhouse of a blues album for me always interested in the blues but by no means an expert and Watching the Blues Brothers movie, you know, even if not for the movie, even though it's great, just the soundtrack, seeing Albert Collins play, not only in the background, but in Adventures in Babysitting, just always loving that, that blues sound. I never really knew where to start, where to go, where to take it, and, you know, listening to this, it all just came flooding back, and it's that, that Chicago blues sound, and, you know, I bet Rob knows a lot about this, and, and others, and Yulevox, um, Man, just playing this, Paul Butterfield, you know, tracks like Blues with a Feeling and Our Love is Drifting, they're just that blues, and I got them. How infectious of an album. Just absolutely unbelievable. You know, and I don't have a whole lot to say about it, because I don't know a whole lot about it yet. Just, you know, it's on the linear notes, but if you're looking for blues or something to start, or even, I mean, I mean, I just heard shades of, like, the doors, early doors, and the organ work and stuff like this in here, and, man, you know, if harmonica work, blowing that harp, is something that you dig in a song, this is for you. Please find it, seek it out, get yourself a copy of the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. You just put it on and get blue. So, speaking of Yo Lovox, um, his last video, he talked about how he had a friend come over and they kind of went on a trip through the collection from one record and now it led to another, to another, to another. And, you know, the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, it didn't take me long to remember that he was also featured on the Woodstock soundtrack, you know, on side six, you know, Butterfield Blues Band, Love March. And Nathan Morales just did an awesome uh, video. He did a lot of commentary. Check out his channel, definitely. And Elovox as well. You know, on Woodstock, the anniversary, big photo montage at the end, and how he was just feeling it. And it wasn't until I picked up Paul Butterfield that I said, wait a minute, I know that name. And it was from here that I knew it. It kind of took me on a little trip. What else do I have that I can listen to now that I'm feeling it? Feeling those blues. And I remembered the copy I had of The Animals with Eric Burden in the beginning. The first known recording of the animals uh, with Eric Burden at a nightclub uh, 19 December 30th 1963 with Sonny Boy Williamson uh, heading the bill and the animals backing him up and Sonny Boy plays on CGM Blues and passed away a week later coincidentally but what just I mean another like Paul Butterfield a raw guttural blues live record recording and you know, the animals just scared the bejesus out of the parents that had just barely begun to accept the Beatles at that point and these guys made the Beatles look like Wonder Bread do you know what I mean and these guys were just wild but man what a nice companion piece to that Paul Butterfield record to listen to and then play highly recommended and I remembered I had the best of the animals as well so I put it on right behind it, and I have to tell you, it was a very different sounding animals. Um, you know, Boom Boom, the song, did make it over onto this, and this is by no means a shabby collection of hits. It's fantastic, but, you know, just in that vein of the blues, this this almost derailed the blues train. It just, it was great on its own, but it just didn't play into that very well, but still a recommended album. And right behind that again on that musical journey, and before we call it a blue night,
grabbed Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Greatest Hits. And you know, while you might say, huh, for a yes, minute, this was just, again, they shared the bill at Woodstock. They still have that jazzy, bluesy, rock sound. And, you know, the lineup changes here. It's just, it's almost not even worth it for me to mention who's in the band. Who's, it's more of a who's not in the band. Over the years, the lineup changes they had here. But songs like... And when I die, and just the, the blues, jazz, rock tinge of that, and the spinning wheel, um, go down gambling, and the rough, raspy voice, you know, here, and that's on most of these tracks, the compilation, it's almost uh, Captain Beefheart ish in a way, just that raspy voice, and that might not be the best parallel for people, but just wanted to share those five albums with you. Again, highly recommend any one of them. Um, I can't possibly over-recommend that you seek out a copy of the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. It's Albert Collins that's been keeping us company in the background. I hope everyone's doing well. Feel free to leave comments, and again, thanks to everybody that does comment and those who have subscribed lately. Take care out there, guys. Get yourself the blues.